What's up, motherfuckers? This is episode 166 of the Not Gonna Lie podcast. And get ready, because we're going to fire on all cylinders today. Good fucking start. All right, let's try to figure the shit out. Oh, are you serious? I swear, it held before I start. Okay, you stop laughing right now. Just gonna cheat this shit. Ah, great. Hey, yes, great quality content on the Not Gonna Lie podcast to start with. Fuck yeah. Hey, you know what? I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna hold it. All fucking podcast long. Because you know what? That's how I roll, man. I don't give a fuck. You know? I Before starting to record this podcast, you know, it's been a couple days where I, I haven't felt really in podcast mode. But you know what? Today, I feel like I'm in podcast mode, man. I'm going to do this podcast no matter fucking what. Okay? Listen. I, there's so much stuff I want to talk about now that I haven't written there. That, like, I don't know where this is going. But it's go- we're 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 gonna see. At, we're gonna build together today. We're just gonna try to we're just gonna try to get through. You know, try to get every idea out. But uh, not sure it's gonna happen. It might be a little mixed up. But you know, we'll do our best. First off, <clears throat> my relationship is so much better than yours. I'm telling you, I don't give a fuck. I I've been I've been complaining about beta motherfuckers and like not wanting to be a bitch for like I don't know how many podcasts. I don't give a fuck anymore. You know what? I'm in love. I don't know why I felt like I had to say that today, but I did. <laughs> ah, go fuck yourself. I'm gonna fucking hate myself. All right. Anyway, um, yeah. I last podcast I remember like being like, oh yeah, the the, the numbers on the podcasts are picking up. Yes, sir. I ha- I had like five hundred something downloads on one, and then three hundred on another one. I was like, man, this is the shit. Like, it, it, I'm gonna be the next Joe motherfucking Rogan, you know, the Canadian fucking podcast superstar. I was looking at the moon and thought I could get there, you know. And fuck, that last one was fucking slow. And then I realized something. I think the title is way more important than I thought it was. So now I think I'm going to have to start figuring out how to make those titles more uh, clickbaity, you know? So I'm going to... I fucking don't want to talk. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, so much stuff to talk about. (laughs) So the reason I haven't... Oh my god, okay, so forget the... What was I talking about? No, 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 what did I say before that? Titles are important. I'm going to st- start saying, like, I fucked Celine Dion in the ass on the YouTube title just so you motherfuckers click on that. I don't give a fuck. That's how I roll, okay? But, and I'm not saying I have, just to, just to be clear, but I'm not saying I haven't. Who knows? I met her once at a wedding. She, she was nice, and then I shook her late husband's hand, and he called me champ. <laughs> well, I was like seven years old, so I didn't give a fuck, you know? I was like, who's this guy? <laughs> but when my mom made a big deal about it, and my dad was like, do you know who called you champ? Well, apparently it was pretty cool at that time. So, <clears throat> anyway. Um, so the reason why I didn't feel like I was in podcast mode recently is exactly this, okay? For 
the last couple weeks, like, I've been fucking, <clears throat> I have been, like, looking at the analytics because it started going well, and I've been looking at them and looking at them and just being, like, just all about this, you know? It wasn't about talking about what I want. It, like, I've only been thinking about topics that, like, people would want to fucking listen to. But you know what? I don't give a fuck. I, the, like, when I started recording this podcast, I was just saying when I was the shittiest human being in the world. And, man, those podcasts were fucking popular. But, um, but the point of recording this is just to fucking record something. It was supposed to be one a day. I was recording one a day, man. What a fucking chimp. And then I slacked off, I slacked off real quick. But then I guess the podcast became, like, they became a little more technical. and Lots of traveling recently, too. <clears throat> but, man, fucking back in the day, me? Oh, fuck. I should go listen to those podcasts again. Oh, shit. We're going to do that. Oh, no. Yes, you speak French now. My girlfriend, Alexa, speaks French now. She's been fucking killing it on Duolingo or whatever the fuck. Man, it's been fucking amazing. She, it's like it's like she's almost six years old now. It's pretty cute. Um. Okay, so that I wanted to talk about. What else? Yes. See, I've been so inside my head caring about what people would think. You know, every time I fucking dress up for this thing, I'm like, oh, what am I going to look like? Oh, what am I going to look like, you know? Oh, I've been wearing this too much. Oh, I've been wearing this too much. Listen, I don't give a fuck what I wear now. I'm just going to steal some piece of clothing that's in the fucking apartment, and I'm going to wear it. And if it's a tank top, like a, like a girly fucking sports bra, that's what it's going to be. I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm, I'm wearing – the thing is, the, 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 the I mean, one of the reasons why I'm wearing such a fucking flashy shirt today is because – now when I'm trying to fucking edit this shit and I open like my files and everything, I'm wearing the same color all the time. So I don't know which video is which. So now I, I need to change it up so that uh, it's easier for me to spot the videos and drag and fucking whatever the fuck. I need to find someone to do that for me. I hate doing this shit. <clears throat> um, so yeah, so uh, green shirt. Makes me lo look a little, little weird. Got the mustache going on. Life's fucking a great. Ugh, what else? Oh, yes. Oh, else. Okay. Um, what else? Yes. Okay, I'm, I'm going to talk about this. I'm, I don't want to make a big deal about this. I've talked about this shit too many times, and it's boring now. So I'm just going to say this, and, and that's it, okay? I just want this out there. Giving ice cream to kids so they get a vaccine. It's kind of weird. That's it. That's it. Hey, we don't talk about it anymore. But, but, psych, my girlfriend got vaccinated recently. Rip, by the way. We're done. Donezo. Because you know what? The day after she got vaccinated, first off, her arm is killing her, okay? I don't know if it's, like, a me thing or just when we were kids, but when I got shots when I was kids, I was fine. Always. Never had a sore arm. Sore arm, when you get vaccinated, are the bitchiest thing, you know? If there was one of my guy friends who would be like, oh, no, I'm not going to play sport. My, I, We had the vaccine. Well, you weren't my guy friend anymore. You were my girlfriend now. I would fuck you because you were my girlfriend now because your arm was sore when you got a vaccine. <clears throat> well, so I guess it's fine for my girlfriend to have a sore fucking arm. <laughs> but anyway, sec this uh, two days later, find this article that says that the fucking Nobel, Nobel Prize winner in two th 2008, something like that, you know? He just, he just wrote a fucking article that was published in a scientific publication that said that people who were getting vaccinated would die in 12 years. RIP, motherfuckers! <clears throat> so, 
So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, I'm going to be single in 12 years. I'm going to be 30, uh, 40. How the, how old am I? <laughs> 29 plus 12. That's 41. 41. Man, at 41, I'm still going to be hot as fuck. At 41, man, at 41, if I keep just doing, like, weird fucking handstands in parks for the rest of my fucking life, I'm going to do some cool motherfucking handstands, okay? They're getting dope as fuck, by the way. You've seen it on my Instagram. You've sent me a thumbs up and uh, and good reaction. Good shit, my friends. Thanks for making me feel like I'm relevant. Ugh, I'm thirsty as fuck. Proudly sponsored by Starbucks Water. I'm so respectful of the people listening to this that I'm acting as if they were here. And that's what I would have done. Right? So disrespectful, which means I'm respectful. Fair enough. So anyway, no more girlfriends in 12 years. Cool handstands. What else? Oh, yeah, I went to work for a... Man, I'm working now. I'm a, I'm a productive member of society. Uh, I just... I'm going to stop pretending I'm a comedian who just records podcasts and shit. I'm going to go back on the on the workforce. I'm working for a Russian dude who make who he's who's teaching me how to frame. And man, I shot myself on the fucking finger today with a nail. Good shit. Day 2, you know. <laughs> Work workplace injury day 2. When I pulled the nail out, I kind of felt like that, that static shock, not that static shock, but like that, uh, <clears throat> like, uh, what's the fuck is it called when you get a, uh, just uh, jolted, you know, that, tzz, oh man, it was crazy. Like my whole body jolted just when I pulled it out, I could feel like, oh shit, I touched a nerve. Can you imagine if just a little nail touching this gave me this reaction, how it feels like to get your leg cut off? Must be wild. Thank God I never got my leg cut off. Rip to anyone who ever had their legs cut, cut off. Man, that's got to suck. <clears throat> um, okay. We've been recording for 13 minutes. Okay. All right. We're perfect. Perfect on time. Now... This is this is uh, we we just had a silly goose time, you know. We had fun talking about, you know, whatever came to my fucking mind. But now we're gonna be serious, okay? Now I need everyone's attention because this is a serious topic that we that needs to be addressed, okay? <clears throat> I'm sick and tired of pretending. That showers, that couple showers suck, okay? It's been said too many times. There's been too many jokes about the fact that you start showering with someone and then after that, it sucks. It doesn't suck, okay? Showering with someone is the fucking best, all right? It makes the fucking loser fucking act of just being naked underwater, rubbing yourself. Now you're with someone. Now you're talking. Now you're having fun. Now you're bonding. You, hey, you know what? I like to take a shower with someone so much that I wait until someone else is ready to take a shower for me to take a shower. I don't care what you think. Showers with someone, the more people, the better. Man, if we were seven people taking a shower there, I would have the most fun in the fucking world. Okay? It, it's been, I, I've, listen, I've said it. Okay? Showers together are the best. I hate washing my fucking back. 
Do you like washing your fucking back? I'm pretty sure that before I had someone in the shower with me at all times, there was probably something like a square this big in the middle of my back, black as fuck. <laughs> Just dirty as shit, you know? Stained with whatever dirt I rolled in, because that's what I do in my free time, roll in dirt, you know? And that's not even a joke. <coughs> so yeah, showers together, fucking best. Although, although. <coughs> I'm not someone to care so much about height difference or whatever the fuck. I don't really see them. But man, when we're showering together, you look tall as shit. And, uh, and, oh, and, oh, oh, yeah, this motherfucker. Okay? Just to make fun of me, there's, like, this weird thing where, like, when she fucking pouts her lips, I understand that she means she wants a kiss, so I kiss her, right? I'm a good boyfriend. I understand the body language, but... When we're laying down, it's all good. When we're sitting, it's all good. Even when we're, like, just on the street, you know? I can be on the curb, and she's down the curb. So, like, we're good. But, man, when we're in the shower, she's, like, fucking leaning her heels against the fucking wall. So, she's even taller, and then she pouts her fucking lips. So, I got to do this. I'm here, you know? <laughs> and I got to do this. Like this to give her kisses in the fucking shower. Hey, get shorter. And she notices and makes fun of me for doing it. She's like, <laughs> look what you're doing. <laughs> you look like a bitch. Go fuck yourself, okay? Anyway, so I've said what I've said. I'm not coming back on this decision. Showers together, much better than showers alone. Much better. I don't even give a fuck that she takes all the water and I have to freeze my ass or whatever. I knew before the shower would begin that that's what it would be. So what would I comp Why would I be complaining? If I didn't want to wait in the corner in the cold, you know, <laughs> just holding my fucking arm like this while we're talking. We're talking and she's just like, oh, 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 fucking cleaning her hair with 75 products. All timed perfectly. There's like, this one has to stay 30 seconds. This one can stay for a long. It can, oh, you can put it even at night, not even wetting your hair. You just put shampoo in your fucking head or whatever the fuck, go to bed. Next morning you wake up, whoop, bald. <clears throat> what the fuck was I saying? Oh, yeah. Stop complaining. It's not even that cold. Why is your house so cold? Turn the heat up, motherfucker. And then just wait in the normal fucking temperature. Anyway. <clears throat> what else? And Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, do the... Uh, no, no. It's not going to work. I need to do it. Okay. Watch this. This one's going to be good, okay? Watch this. <clears throat> oh, my God. Oh, it's so relevant with the other thing. Wow, I'm so good at writing, at, like, deciding what I'm going to talk about. <clears throat> A lot of dick stuff in uh, my selection today, but still, we're going to roll with it. <clears throat> May okay. Um, maybe I'm wrong on this. All right, maybe. Maybe I'm the weird one. Let me know in the comments down below, or message me, or if you have any fucking anything to say about this, let me know. But I'm gonna say something that seems to be a hot take in this fucking province. <clears throat> Uncut dicks are the norm. 70 
seventy percent of people in Canada, of guys in Ca- of of men in Canada, have uncut dicks. Why do we? Why do fucking girls make such a big fucking thing about this fucking thing? Oh no! Oh, I I haven't chosen the right angle for this shit. I can tell already. I sound vindictive. I'm not vindictive. I don't give a fuck. I love my fucking hood. It's honestly my hood's the favorite part of my dick. You know what? That's it. The hood favorite part. It's the most fun one. Hey, got how many times when I'm just naked, I just fucking stick my finger in it. Boop. <laughs> and then, oh my god, that's weird that I'm saying this right now. <laughs> I'm sure tons of guys have done this. There's no way I'm alone. And if I'm alone, well, there it is. You know, you can stick your fucking finger inside of there. And then it cre- there's like it creates a fucking vacuum, so you can't pull it out anymore. It's like a Chinese finger trap. <laughs> 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 Hooded dicks are Chinese finger traps. <laughs> Oh my god, and then you can do so much stuff with this, man. Guys, if your hood's cut, you've missed out your whole fucking life. I'm telling you. I don't know why porn stars are all cut like it's like the shit. Fuck all that, man. A fucking cut dick? How do you fucking jerk off, you know, with lotion or you spit on your fucking dick? Bro, I can jerk off in the fucking sand. I could be on the beach. Buried under the sand. You know, so there's just my little head popping, you know. And I could wiggle enough room to jerk off right there and come. Be that motherfucker. Tell me your cut dick. Oh my god, we're losing so ma- so many frames. Yes. Whatever. <clears throat> um so oh, fuck that oh I was on a roll. Anyway, so um the o- <laughs> That's okay. Oh my god. Weird laugh. Alexa? No, I'm not talking to you. I'm naming you. Shut the fuck up! This happens all the time. I say her name, this bitch wakes up. We've had the conversation about changing the name it, it, it the name for her to wake the fuck up. No, no, no. I like it. I'm like that's fucking obnoxious of you. When I talk to the fucking robot, the human responds. When I, the human respond. Oh, yeah, with the S. Oh, so good at English. And then when I talk to the fucking human, the fucking robot responds. And it's annoying the fuck out of me. But anyway, the human. (coughs) The first time she, she, um. Kind of got a closer. Oh, well, that's so weird, eh? Why do couples fucking do that? Uh, do everyone do that? Yeah, probably. Because in every relationship I've been, there was like a moment where like you just play with the soft dick, you know? This bitch gave a fucking name to my soft dick. I've never felt so emasculated in my fucking life. I don't even know. I don't even know what's my problem. With her playing with my soft dick, you know? But it's weird. There's <laughs> When I look at my dick when it's soft, I'm like, hey, bro. Eh, what, you're not going to show up to work today? Like, uh, wake up, motherfucker. If it takes more than, like, 10 seconds for my dick to get hard. Ooh, start, I'm starting to feel, oh, my God, oh, my God. Eh, am I having a... Erectile dis- dysfunctions uh, at such a young age. Oh, my God. What am I going to do when I'm 60? I'm never going to have a boner ever again. Fuck. 
So I don't remember where uh, I was with this, where I was going with this. But anyway, um, if you're not a fu- if you're listening to this and you're not a fucking pussy, you're gonna s- you're gonna go write me a message in my DMs and tell me the weirdest shit you've ever done with the hood of your fucking dick. <laughs> There's so many variants. Oh, that's where I was going with this. Man, oh. (laughs) Guys that don't have hoods. Oh, you've been missing out. Oh. The things you can do with your dick. You have no idea. (laughs) I can literally make my dick disappear. No more penis. I just roll my hood infinitely over itself. And it pushes my dick down inside of me. Boop. I just have balls. And I'm pretty sure if I practice enough, I can make it stay that way without me touching. I would permanently have an inside dick, like a dog, kind of. And then when I would get hard, it would just... Kind of like that. Just... All right, it's out. And then afterwards, pack it up, pack it up like a military tent. Roll that shit. Pack it in. <laughs> so uh, the human is looking at me very unimpressed by my line of uh, joking. So uh, good shit. This mic is fucking annoying the fuck. All right. Hey, you know what? You know what? Hey, I'm done talking. Okay. This was uh, this was enough fun for today. And uh, we're going to. Oh, God. I said I was going, oh, okay. Message to future self. Message to future self. Stop saying, stop. Okay, listen, you're put, me of the past. Listen to what I'm telling you, but don't do it in the future me, okay? You're putting a fuck load of pressure on future me. To do a lot of fucking stuff by saying it on the podcast all the fucking time without being sure that you can actually do what you're saying you're going to do. Okay? So stop saying on this fucking podcast that now the podcast is going to have 27 episodes a day. Okay? Just because this one fucking day you felt like you were fucking inspired for a little bit. Tone it down, motherfucker, okay? Because then every time you set those bigger and bigger goals without being sure that it's going to work, then future me, which is me now, feels like shit for not doing that. All right? So chill. Take it easy, all right? We're, it, hey, it's, not a, it's, not a, it's not a fucking sprint, bro. It's okay if you're not fucking Kevin Hart next year. It's okay if you're nobody next year. Chill. Take it easy, okay? Love you, boat. Love you, man.